So you have your brand new office just modeled. It looks perfect. Everything's great, but there's one thing missing. You want frosted glass. A lot of you have been requesting frosted glass and today I'm going to show you how to do that. So that way you can block out those beautiful backgrounds. That way you can't see it. Just kidding. There's many other reasons for frosted glass and I'm going to teach you how to do that today in 3ds Max V-Ray. To get the elephant out of the room, I know I've been gone for a while. My video card quit working. I got a brand new one. Also, my audio is going to be much cleaner to now since I got a whole new setup and I am rearing and ready to go. So, let's get started. I brought back up my old scene, the one where I show you guys how to do lighting in. And I took one piece of glass, this one right here. I just basically cut it out over here. So, this little piece right here, I'm going to show you how to create uh, glass, lots of glass. So this is uh, the material I have for the rest of them. And do a quick render out. And you see, you get the background and you get the foreground, etc., etc. You get a little bit of reflection from both. So that's the current uh, glass setup that I had with my previous render. So we want to take this and make it frosted. You've probably seen for a quick second, it showed some frosted. That's because I was making sure I knew what I was doing before I started doing this. So I have two different things. I have this one and I have this one. And then there's a frosted glass that doesn't have either one, it's just frosted. So it's just some little design I threw together. It's not the best looking, it's just to get the point across. And this is just so if you have like a bump on it. So we're gonna start off. We're gonna be working in the material slate editor. So we go to modes instead of compact. You're then gonna to go to slate. I feel Slate just works better for this and I've just been working on it a lot more because of work and I can work with a lot more materials at once. So you're going to learn how to use a Slate Editor if you have not already. So you're going to right click, you're going to go to Materials, you're going to go to V-Ray and do a V-Ray Material. We're then going to double click on that, you're going to go to your Diffuse, make it black, and then Reflect, not Reflect. Unless you want some reflection, you can add a little bit of reflection. We'll do, I think I had it at about, oh, we'll do three. So we'll do three reflection, and that's what I had it at. We'll go with that. Your refract, you want this all the way to white. Now, you can't see anything, so we're gonna right click on this, and we're going to do show background and preview. So now you get this in the background, so that way you can see what this looks like. So Making frosted glass is very easy. This is all you have to do. It's basically already set up. You just gotta take your glossiness and you're gonna turn this down. So now it's at 0.93. So, oh, another thing, I want the IQR to be at three. There we go, see what that did to it? So the IQR basically gives it like depth for the most part. So glossiness is at 0.93 and I'm gonna show you what this does. So I'm gonna throw it on there. I'm gonna move this back over. I want to minimize this and oh, get my stuff back up here. Do a render. You can see you're getting that frosted look you want. It's such a simple thing to do. In render, so you uh, as it goes. So it blurs out the background, but you can still see the background. You still know it's back there, but it's just kind of blurred out. So I'm going to stop this. And if we come back to our material editor, let's say you want this to be really blurred out. You can bring this down to like 0.88. So let's do another render. See what this does. It's going to blur it out even more. Now you're just getting this kind of like yellow here. You get some blue there. So you know it's the background, but it's much more blurred out. It's not as clean and see through as the. So next, so I'm going to stop that once again, raw material, and you can see right here, it's giving that a frosted look. It looks frosted. So let's say we bring this up to like 0.97, and this will be another render we do. Let's see how this looks. So you get a very little bit of frosted look. You get a little bit of reflection coming in through the window. It's... I prefer like more, like the 0.9 looks really good. So 
let's bring that back down to 0 0.93. And of course, if you want more reflection, more reflection in your window, you can always turn your reflection, make a, a lighter color, come over here. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Do render production, and you're gonna get reflections from the inside. So you have a reflective frosted glass. That's something we have at work. So try to make something similar to that. All right, go back to your material. So I don't want the reflection. I'm just gonna leave this at about three for each one of these because there is very little bit. And now we're going to add a, a bump to this. So I'm gonna go to my materials, no, my maps, sorry. Standard bitmap. Now I have my two things right here. We'll start with this one. I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna pull it over to my bump map. I just grabbed this little yellow thing and moved it over to right there. So now you wanna make sure that your it's gonna look correct. So I'm gonna create another material, V-Ray, and do V-Ray material. And I'm gonna drag this over into my diffuse. I'm then gonna take this one and drag it onto my window. Now I'm gonna right click, and I'm gonna do show realistic material in viewport. So now I can see how this looks. So I wanna make sure that this looks correct before I continue with it. So I have a UDVW map on here, and I have my gizmo. So then you can just take this and scale it to whatever you feel fit. I think right there would look like a good frosted glass. So I'm gonna go with that. I then can get rid of this, I will not. Well, I guess I don't need to get rid of it. I'll just delete, oops, delete the connection. There we go. And apply my glass back on there. So let's see what I have my bump set at right now. After it quits loading, okay. Come on, oh, I guess I'll just click down here. So I have my bump set at 30. So if we probably should bring this down to maybe, I don't know, about five. I'm going to minimize this and render again. And actually, I'm going to, because this will take a little bit longer because I have the bump on it, I'm going to do a smaller region and condense it. And we'll zoom in on this really quick. You can see you're getting little ripples in your frosted glass. If you want a texture to your frosted glass, you can just put a bump on there. And the lower, th so let me stop this again. So let's say you want your frosted glass to be more see-through and bring this up to like 0.96. You're like, okay, I want it to be see-through. But this is getting in the way and it's really distorting it. You can always just drop your bump even further. So there you go. That's how you do a textured frosted glass. So let's stop this. Okay. And let's move on to the final type of frosted glass where, oh, I don't have the page out. Well, I'll just show you. So we're gonna delete that. We're gonna do maps, standard, bitmap, once again. And I'm gonna grab this square. So basically what we're gonna do with the square is the white, you'll be able to see through the white through the background and the black is going to cut out the, the reflection. Like you're not gonna be able to see through the glass as much where the black is. So the white you'll be able to see through. So let's grab this, let's go over here, and we're going to throw this onto, oops, um, can you do it this way? Oh, you can, new to me. We're going to put it on the glossiness. We'll do an instance, and it'll just plug it right there. So right into your refract glossiness. Sorry, I'm having a hard time speaking. I haven't done a tutorial in a while, so bear with me. Now, if you were to render this right now, it's not going to look correct. For one, it's all white. Two, you can see through it, but it's also very small. So let me go ahead and fix this really quick. Let's go ahead and apply this onto here. Throw it on there. And adjust this again to get more of what I'm looking for. Probably something like that. I think that would look really nice. So let's go back, cut ties with this one, and throw our glass back on there. So basically what you need to do now is you need to go into this setting right here. So you're gonna double click on your bitmap and you're gonna to go to your output right here at the bottom, click on enable color map. And so right here is your blacks. This side is the blacks, this side is the whites. And you wanna take this black and you wanna pull it up. So when you pull 
fill this up is going to make that black lighter. Now you could do this in Photoshop, but the nice thing about 3ds Max is it allows you to control it right in here. So we don't have to go into Photoshop every time and adjust the black level. So now that we have that adjusted, we pulled the blacks and we made them lighter, so now more of a gray color. So when we do this again, you're going to see, you get the see-through area where the and where it's not white, it's not see-through. Now, we're not seeing through it, like, at all. So let's stop this. It's just trial and error. Go back to our material and pull this up a little bit more. Let's go ahead and do another render. See how this turns out. And that looks a lot nicer. Now you're starting to see the blues here. You're getting the yellows up there. And you can keep playing with this, but um, for right now, uh, it's this thing is uh, it's so annoying. I, 3ds Max can be a pain sometimes. Cancel. Cancel. It is not canceling. Come on. <laughs> Having technical difficulties here. Come on, stop. There we go. Sorry about that. Computer problems. Alright, so let's pull this back up. And let's maybe even pull this up just like a hair more to like 0.949. That seems good. And that might even be too much, but you're getting an idea of what you can do with these. So you can go in Photoshop, you could have a, a person. So you could draw a person all white on a black background and you'll get this effect. So there's so many different things you can do with this. And I really hope that this tutorial helped you guys with frosted glass and give you more of an idea of how to do that. So maybe you want it like in my scene, I wanted like a different frosted glass design for each one of these. So each one of these had a different design on it. You can go in Photoshop, create all those designs and just apply it to each one. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, as always, leave a like. I appreciate it a lot. I am actually moving to Austin, Texas come March. So around March, just expect for tutorials to slow down a little bit because I am going to be moving across the country. I am doing it so that way I can maybe get a job in one of the game studios down there or something. So if anyone has connections in Austin, feel free to let me know. I'd love to work with one of you guys or meet up sometime. Anyways, that'll be it for this tutorial. If you have any other questions, as always, please leave a comment. I will answer it as soon as possible. And I'm very happy for all the support that you guys have shown. I never expected this channel to do as well as it's done. So thank you again. Enjoy whatever kind of weather you're having right now. It's terrible here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.